Well, when it also we 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 had talked about doing it a couple of years ago, um, but we just weren't ready at that point in time. And so when the opportunity came up again, and um, Tony and Kurt mentioned it, I, was, I asked Randy, and he said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, good." And so when these when these artists started just falling into place and just. Um, you know, calling in and saying we want to be a part of it, it just meant so much. And, and even the ones that couldn't because they had prior engagements, you know, and their, their, um, their, their, their kind words about how we wish we could be there, it just, it means the world to me and it just reminds me of, I guess, the 40 years of music that he's made that, um, and, and how important it is to not only his fans um, and um, the world of music as a whole, but um, also the artist that um, influenced him and that he influenced. Means the world. Yeah. Ron? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You want me to start over now? No. Okay. Next. Yeah. The, um, the Randy, Tra uh, Randy Travis Foundation is a foundation that's newly formed um, for the last two and a half, three years. Of course, we've been spending most of our, most of our time and our diligence in um, rehabbing and getting to the point where we felt like it was time that we could start helping um, the rest of the world by what we had learned through the um, viral cardiomyopathy and the stroke and the five and a half months stay at the hospital. So um, we felt like, and, and the importance of rehab. And so um, early, early detection of the viral cardiomyopathy would have made a big difference because it wasn't detected until the critical 48, 72 hours later. So uh, the Randy Travis Foundation is threefold. It is um, music appreciation in children um, in any way, shape, or form that we can help with that and also um, early detection of viral cardiomyopathy and stroke rehabilitation. So, it was time. Kelly? I'm just so happy to see you guys here. I would like Thank to you. know how much influence did you have over the playlist that's happening tonight? Did you both come together and decide who would sing what song? I think that that was, we left that up to the artist um, to choose, um, and it was a first come, first serve kind of a thing, um, and the artists that we've known for a long time that may have always been fond of a song, I, mean, I know like Jamie Johnson, the song that, that he's singing tonight, is a song that when we were in the hospital and Randy was still in a coma, a coma Jamie would come to the hospital and just stand at the foot of his bed and just sing this song. Mm -hmm. And so, so those, you know, there's, there's songs that were attached to certain artists that really were important for them to have. Um, and the, the artists that are here is just such a broad stroke of the brush as far as the young artists that are up and coming that, um, that Randy heavily influenced, according to them. Uh, there are the artists that were there along Randy's side about the same time frame, and then there's the um, the legends that were there before Randy that influenced Randy. So they kind of picked and choosed, and so if there were certain songs that several of them wanted, then um, I don't know, maybe they just coin tossed. I'm not sure how it all ended up the way that it did. <laughs> Y'all are grown up, y'all work that out. <laughs> so. yeah. How important has it, has it been to get back to the music? I know you've been going surprising a lot of people backstage at the CMA Awards. I mean, how much has this helped you in your recovery physically and mentally? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot. Can you tell them a lot? A lot. Yeah. yeah. It was time. It was, um, like I said, we spent the first two and a half years, three years, um, in rehabilitation and just trying to get to the point. And it, and it got to the point where he was really burnt out on physical, occupational, and speech therapy four hours a day, every day of the week, and I understand that. So it got to the point where we needed to start getting out and, and seeing and being seen, and especially for him to be around the music that 
that is so much of what his soul is. And so that's why we, we like to go out and see the artists that we love to see and wish we could see more of them, but it's very important. And the music, I can always tell that it changes his frame of mind, you know, when we've, when we've been to a concert and seen some of his old friends. So it's very important, I think, in, in the therapy of, of, of a stroke. But anybody, I mean, music, we all know what it does for us, so good times and bad. Nancy? Yeah. Oh. No, Nan sorry. Oh, Nancy Brooks first and then Nancy. <laughs> Can you talk about the young artists that are really discovering Randy Travis's music and being so excited, like young King Brown, who was so elated when you came and surprised him at a radio station recently? Yeah, he's, a, he's a precious young man. Um, we, we've gotten to know him and kind of the story of his life. And, you know, when you first see him, and when we first saw him, we thought, well, he can't be country. <laughs> you know, but his, his voice is so, is so full and so whole, and there's so much, so much heart in his music. Um, but he's, he deserves to be here in the country music genre and just as sweet as he can be. And, and you can tell he's singing the songs of his life. Um, and, and James Dupre's and people like that and it's, it's, it's wonderful to see those, those guys coming up and the Scotty McCrary's and you know and Scotty's like well I used to sit on my bed until two o'clock in the morning and play his songs you know and so those, it's, it's neat that, that he was able to influence those guys in the way that he did because that, those are the traditional and the new traditional youngsters that are coming along that are kind of the same mold that Randy was back in the late 80s, so yeah. very important to us. It's always sweet to see. I'm just wondering how you have spent today, the last 36 <laughs> hours, if you've been going to sound checks or meeting with the folks who will be performing tonight, and also what's your vantage point tonight to enjoy the show? Um, the, the past 36 hours have been, um, I think, I think 36 minutes. It's time's flown. Uh, yesterday we did go to sound check uh, for several hours, and that was that was that was so much fun and the energy and and to get to be around the whole Randy Travis band that we haven't been together as a whole since the stroke. Um, we've been in different areas where there might have been. Um, most of them are some of them, but not all. So it was wonderful to be with the whole band and Kyle Lenning, um, Steve Gibson. So it was, um, it was really special. And then we, this morning we were at the state capitol um, visiting, visiting with Governor Haslam and um, Governor McNally and, and um, speaking to some of the people about stroke and stroke rehabilitation and the importance of that and hoping to get that um, more implemented in the health care of Tennessee. Where were we going to be tonight? Oh, we're leaving. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We'll, we'll be, Randy and I will be sitting up on the stage. He'll be sitting up there so that everybody can just love on him and adore him. So. I'm going to do two more questions. Jesse, uh, Randy, through all of this, I know you've always loved can country music, but has your love for country music grown seeing all the support of the fans of Nashville, of all these other artists? Yeah. No. Just tell him yes. Yeah. You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I really do. I think that it has. It's it's um, it's impressed upon him. Um, I think what a difference he made. I, I think everybody knows if they've ever worked with Randy Travis, they know he is a man of such humility, and he never really felt like he did that much for music or the country music. And I think that this helps bring it kind of home and saying, yeah, you really did make a difference. So um, yeah, yes to your, to your question, long form. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. Anybody else? Anybody over there? I can't really see. I do Kay want to bring up Casey? a great moment. The CMA out there, Randy. Can you kind of take us back to seeing that night and just, uh, we're going to have some amazing homage tonight as well, but what was your reaction? I mean, like, that was beautiful. His, my reaction? Both, yeah. 
Well, he was all for it. I mean, he's, you know, it's one of these things that we, we sing a lot in the car and we sing a lot at home. And, and I really butcher it, but he makes it sound good. But it's one of those things I'll say, well, honey, do you, do you think you want to sing? To, no, I'm not going to sing. I'm not going to sing. And then he just, you know, it's like that night. He goes, I, I don't know if I, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just, it's, it's in him. I mean, you're just up on a stage and with a microphone, and he just comes to life. So I thought he did a beautiful job at the Hall of Fame and at the CMAs. Yeah. So thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you guys. Oh, Mindy, I had a question. I know that you've been doing a lot to nurture other young artists like Shane Owens. Are there some other projects coming up that you're involved in you like people know about? We don't really have any other projects right now at this point in time. Right? Uh, Shane Owens is the most current that we've worked on, so just tipping our toes in the water, see where we can go. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you all so much. We appreciate thank you. you. Thank you for being here. Just say thank you. Thank you. So they hear you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>